Hi, it's Stacy Chilemi. Today I want to talk about the purpose of why I do these live videos. These live videos are set um, for you to have a personal journey with me. I use these I use the best tools and techniques and strategies to guide people like yourself during to teach you how to get through stressful, draining and stigmatized issues that you go through in life on a daily basis. Coping with these issues in life are not easy. It's, it's very hard, it's very difficult, and, from, and if we could just work together, I could show you how to understand the key and mental and physical changes that matter. And a lot of times we go through life and there are so many things in life that just drain us. And today I thought about different topics I could talk about. And the first thing that came to my mind was letting the negative, negative negativity and those negative thoughts from us just let them go. A lot of times these negative thoughts hold us back. And what they do is they cause us to not get to the point of life where we want to be. Like, does anyone ever go through that in life? Does anyone ever go through things in life where they feel like they, you know, um, that all they can think about and focus on is the worst possible things that could happen? And a lot of times, I feel like, I feel, I feel like, you know, that a lot of times that, you know, these negative thoughts kinda, you know, just hold us back in life. And you know, research, research has even shown that 90% of the thoughts in our head are repetitive and 80% of those thoughts are actually negative thoughts. And you know, you know, what we need to focus on is about feeling, is, is, is working on feeling, your, about your, feeling, feeling the inner strength within you and let those obstacles in your life not interfere with the level of happiness and success that you're entitled to have. Because everybody, hey Bridget, how you doing? How's that going? Everybody in life, you know, has ne negative issues. We all go through things in life, but there's no reason why our negative, negative, negative thoughts should take control of our lives. And has anyone ever felt like that? You know, you constantly get thoughts running through your head and anytime anything good ever happens, the first thing you think about is, oh, the possibility of the, the negative issues in your life that could occur. And those things are the things that kind of hold you back. You know, we repeat in our head, we repeat the same negative thoughts. And this is because it requires less work for the brain to think about the same thoughts repetitively than it does for the brain to inquire about new thoughts. These thoughts then increase the power of your body's reaction to these thoughts. Your body responds by sending out hormones that impact the nervous system. For example, if you think someone will deceive you, your body will secrete cortisol to get ready for conflict. And that like spunks up the body. And on, uh, on the other hand, if you feel calm and relaxed and you feel proud, you know, um, you're going you're gonna, to, serotonin and oxytocin are going to be released from the body. And that will promote positive feelings like pleasure, happiness, love. And when your mind is full of negative thoughts, you know, your body physically just tenses up and you put yourself in a state of stress, anxiety, and you know you're and it's not good for your health either and you know to heal yourself from negativity from your your mi mind you have to allow moments of relaxation and you have to get away from reality for a moment and just sit down in a quiet room where there's calmness and just breathe slowly and relax and, and if you feel the tension in a particular part of your body, it's best to focus on that part of your body and focus on relaxing just that part of your body alone. And allow the power of your breath to blow away the negativity from you and, and, and your peaceful surroundings. And when you're meditating, be still and mentally, physically, pay attention to every part of your body from your head to your chest to your feet. And your body can occupy your mind and prevent it from getting away from a swarm of negative thoughts. Just focus on you for a moment and focus on the part of your body 
that is is bothering you and think to yourself why is that part of your body bothering you hey graceful how's it going it's nice to see you here you know what's going on in your life do you ha you suffer from negative thoughts you know does life kind of kind of kind of overwhelm you i want to hear about it and as you meditate like i was saying to release those negative thoughts make sure not to judge any of your thoughts just allow your thoughts to fly away. Let them just just go away and just make believe like a dove, all those negative thoughts go on a dove and just let them fly away and leave. And you know, you know, our mind is stronger than we think it is. It has the power to do anything. We have to just be able to retrain our thoughts and not focus on the negative things, but focus on the positive things in life and focus on having gratitude and being able to really focus on, you know, the good things in life and to let go of the negativity in our life. Hey, PM, how's it going? Nice to see you. We're talking about letting go of the negativity in our life. Is there things in life that make you feel negative that bring, you know, negativity into your life? I want to hear about it. You know, um, you know, we have to allow the positive energy in and we have to send away that negative energy and allow that positive energy come in your way and let the spirit take it in and have and help you heal let the negative energy fly away if you're having trouble letting go of negative energy in your life start to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth breathe in the good air and breathe out the toxins and just just imagine that like i was telling you earlier make that dove pick up all that negative energy in you and let it fly away let it release from your body focus on the areas that you feel stressed and may and just just imagine all the negativeness because you're tensing up you're clamming and it is causing you that the, the increase in, in your cortisone levels is causing certain parts of your body to really tense up and your muscles are tensing up and then inflammation is increasing and this is why sometimes you feel certain areas are more more in uh, getting more effective because sometimes you know we have inflammation in our body already and when we raise our cortisol levels we're actually causing more anxiety and more stress and then you know it's an effect it's affecting different parts of our body so to release it we really have to bring in meditation and bring go into a relaxing position and allow the positive energy to come your way. Let your spirit take it in and help you heal. Let your negative energy fly away. And if you're having trouble letting go of negative energy, start to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and just keep imagining that dove taking all that negative energy away from you. By practicing meditation, you become more mindful and clear-headed and you, it enables you to understand your life and your purpose better. Because when we let go of the negativity in our life and we focus on calmness and we focus on clarity, we're able to see life in a whole different perspective. And that's what we want to do. We want to let go of that negativity. We want to bring in the positivity into our life because with anything that goes on in our life, no matter, even if it's a bad thing, there is a positive thing that we could draw from that. Because sometimes negative things in our, in our lives actually bring us experience and they strengthen us and that's how we have to look at it every time you know you feel you know they're they the negativity say well okay this is happening to me right now what in this in this situation what is it doing that's positive and take the pot you know okay it's called it's helping me strengthen myself it's helping me look at learn life and look at life in a different perspective it's making me a better person in that way and that's how you have to kind of focus on it and then you know and to, to clear your mind you should be able to just sit in that comfortable position find somewhere in your house even in your backyard outside anywhere in a park and just be able to sit in a comfortable position as comfortably as possible and take and breathe in 
and, and in through the nose and out through the mouth. It is so important to breathe in exercises are so powerful. People don't realize that by calming yourself and by breathing in the good air and by breathing out the toxins, you are actually helping your body re renew itself. And actually it's, it's, it brings, it brings joy to you and it increases that serotonin and it increases that oxytonin that we were talking about. And it really helps the body. And something that I really like to do is I like to create a spiritual journey journal and you can start to you know and and and, and the way we create spiritual journals is that we actually can get any type of notebook anything and we could actually put you know, take like a take a photo this is what I like to do I like to take a photo and then you can use even several photos and you can just tape them into the journal and you could actually date your work and write down when you look at that photo, what comes to mind, what emotions come to mind, what thoughts come to mind, you know, what is, you know, a lot of times we have repressed emotions and by looking at a picture, we could actually, it brings up emotions that we didn't even realize that we have. And, you know, and then you start to write about these emotions, just clear your head and just let the thoughts run through your head and just write those thoughts down. And you'll be shocked how much time flies by so quickly when you read your past entries and you realize by doing this is on a daily basis, sometimes people, you know, it's hard sometimes to do things consistently, things come up, but the more you do it, the better you will feel. You know, looking at pictures, taking things that either from the past and just writing about it and being able to just, you know, whatever comes to mind, just write it down. And then, you know, and then you'll be able to uh, just relax and be able to see, be, be able to re, re journal and, and you'll start feeling empowered because you'll start getting all those negative emotions out. You'll start feeling better as a person because you're taking your journal and you're, you're, you're getting in touch with your inner self, your inner soul. You're getting in touch with your heart. You're getting in touch with a lot of, I call it the, the seven, the seven chakras. And you, when you start to work on these journals and you start to work on your emotions and you are actually starting to align those chakras. You're becoming more rooted, more stabilized, more clear-headed, more focused, and you keep doing those breathing exercises that I was telling you, and before you do the journal, and you will see that you will be at a different place in your life, and you'll start feeling more empowered, and you'll start feeling better about yourself. Now, you know, if anyone has any questions, I want to hear what other people, how other people deal with their negativity in their life, or does negativity over empower you? Does it really, does it, does it really get you to a point where you feel stuck in life? And if you feel stuck in life, you know, try some of these exercises that I'm telling you about and you can, you know, and it, it will actually help you and, you know, and also to send new thoughts to the universe. You know, a lot of times we don't realize it, but I'm a big believer in, in, in the universe and we call out to the universe. The universe hears what we say. And even when we write in a journal, they hear, they, they acknowledge that. And, you know, you, when you write, writing about things, you know, just don't write about, you know, the, your emotions, but also write about what you, you have gratitude for, what in life, you know, makes you feel good, you know, and write those things down and then call out to the universe and ask the universe, you know, to help you, give you directions, to give you signs. And you'll be so surprised because the universe does answer. And, you know, not everybody believes in that. But, you know, I'm a true believer and I've seen many things in my life improve from doing these exercises. And, you know, you could openly talk about your concerns or your fears, uh, you know, out loud or even just do it on paper and just get, it'll help you get rid of those anxious feelings in your life and it'll bring positive emotions because when we get rid of the negativity from our life, positivity draws in and it helps empower us, it helps strengthen us, and, you know, 
and you'll actually realize that this can actually, that it's helping you. Because when you do this on a consistent basis, you'll start seeing changes. And this may be a life-changing moment for you. Hey Sam, how's it going? You know, we're talking about letting go of the negativity in our life and being able to focus on the positivity. And we just went over about different, different things. And you know, if you guys have questions, I wanna hear them. Because you know, the, the most important thing in life is that we can't let negativity control us. We have to really focus on the positive in life. And, you know, all these things that we talked about, about being able to, you know, meditate, being able to breathe in and slow down and be able to breathe in the good air, breathe out the, the bad air, and to be able to focus and to be able to go into a room where you feel calm. And even if you're like, when you're meditating, if you're in a certain position and you don't feel calm, well, try sitting differently. Try looking at something differently. And, you know, being able to write about things later, creating a spiritual journal, putting the pictures down. You know, I'm just going over this because I just want anyone who just popped in. I see a lot of new people popping in. Hey, Dawn, how's it going? We're talking about letting go of the negativity in our life and bringing in the positivity. And I was just talking about the journals. I was just going over everything we just talked about. And one of the things, Dawn, we were talking about is like putting pictures in a journal and, you know, and things about from our past, from our childhood, from growing up as a teen and, and even college or, you know, when we got older and things that bring us emotion and just writing about it. It could be things that cause us a lot of grief in our life. Look at a picture that reminds you of something and just write about it. Let it out. Let out all the negative emotions that fill your heart and start bringing in the positive emotions and start thinking about the good things that you have in life and start thinking about even when things happen to you, to pull out a bad, you know, from those bad things that happen to you in life. Okay, what in that life you know, that situation made me feel better as a person. Oh, you do have a lot of negativity in your life and you, <laughs> you're so funny. I always, you always have, you always have an empty kind of girl. You're an empty kind of girl. Uh, you know what, Dawn, I, you know, life sometimes, you know, we, you know, what a lot of people do is that we, you know, we've had sometimes in our life, we've had a lot of trauma. We may come from dysfunctional families or we may come from, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, issues in our life that really, you know, um, really kind of dramatized us, you know, like nobody's life is perfect and everybody has a story and people have gone through a lot in life. But, you know, we, we always have to not focus on the past because I was talking about this in another one, you know, a lot of times we we have to really realize just like when we're a kid and we're driving the back of a car I was talking about this the other day you know we're never when we when not we're driving with our parents when we were kids and we're never going to go to that town at the same day in the same time it's over you know and it's the past so we have to remember the past is the past we can't change the past we have to focus on the present and we can't focus on the future you know because we don't know what the future may bring so we can't say what if and what if that and you know uh, you know and then you know put these goals out and then you know we don't know if we're going to make those goals and then we start trying to reach those goals that we put in our, our head for the future and we start stressing ourselves out because we don't see ourselves exactly the way it's supposed to go so the best thing in life is to focus on the present so what can you do now in life to make yourself feel like a positive person well maybe you could look at all the great things that you've done in life instead of looking at all the negativities that happened to you why don't you focus and make a list on all all the things that you've done in life that you've accomplished and start really realizing that hey you know I've done a lot of light in life that has really helped me a lot and you know start giving yourself a pat on the back start giving yourself credit for the great things that you have done in life if you've done good things in life you know you know give yourself credit reward yourself you know, maybe have a girl's night out and celebrate or just give yourself a pat on the back or do something that's going to make you happy. You know, you know, if there's 10 things in life you don't like about yourself, write them down on a piece of paper and then think about, OK, I just wrote 10 things I don't like about myself. Well, start setting some short term goals and some long term goals. All right. How am I going to change those things? You know, and focus on, you know, make in the now what is some short term and long term goals, easy ones that could help you change those things in your life, because we are 
the, we are the we are the founders of our own lives and it's up to us to make our lives better and we sometimes people have to fall rock bottom before they actually want to get they get better but you know what you know you have control you have control of this moment right now so what are you going to do now to make yourself a better person Hey, Chef, how you doing? It's nice to have you on. We're talking right now about releasing the negativity from our lives and actually focusing on bringing positivity in our lives and being able to be a better person from it. So Dawn was bringing up emotion that, you know, that she has, you know, some issues then going on and she doesn't really give herself credit for all the great things she does. So I was just giving her some information about, you know, sometimes we have to, you know, the best thing to do is focus on the now. What are we going to do now? to make ourselves a better person hey chef it's i oh i you know I, she's waving to me hey you know we have what are we going to do to make ourselves a better person we really have to learn to really give ourselves credit because that's the one thing we all don't do and that goes down to self-esteem you know a lot of times if we focus on our self-esteem we don't we don't give ourselves enough of credit for the things we do and then, you know, sometimes we have to really, you know, what I do, I, I am even a victim of that. Sometimes, you know, I'm like, you know, oh, I wish I did this. I wish I did this already. And sometimes we have to sit down and really think about, okay, what things did I accomplish in life? You know, and make a list of the things you accomplished in life and give yourself credit. Because everything you've done in life, you really need to feel good about yourself. Because that's how we that's how we become the ideal you. You know, by letting go of the negativity, focusing on the positivity in our lives, focusing on you know all the good stuff, and let it go in the negative stuff, and just being able to like meditate. If you like to exercise, put some exercise, you know, if you, if you have, you know, changed the way you, you know, it's all about changing the way you feel inside, you know, and then everything else will just snowball and, and you'll move on in life. So guys, you know, it was great talking to you guys today. If anyone has any more questions, I'd love to hear them, but you know what? It's all about the now. Focus on the now, what you can do today, right now, this moment, and I'm challenging you guys right now, make a list of 10 things that are going to make you feel better as a person. And I want to see some short-term goals and some long-term goals written in that journal that we just talked about and start accomplishing them today. Do one thing, one little thing. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's something that's going to make you happy as a person and focus on those good things about yourself and also so let go of that negativity. Every morning I want to see you take some time for yourself to close your eyes, to think about all the things that you're going to let go in your life that are holding you back and making you feel stuck and focus on all the positive things about yourself and all the positive things that you want to do with yourself and start creating those short-term and long-term goals. And every day do something special for you, whether go into a bathtub and put some Epsom salts, whether you're taking a walk, whether you're exercising, whether you're just doing Met doing some meditation and when you feel stressed start doing those breathing exercises that we talked about because it's so important it is so important to to be able to just slow yourself down when we get stressed we're just raising our cortisol level and we are just causing our bodies just to 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 get just to to you know we 70 percent of illnesses are caused by stress so by by raising those cortisol levels you're causing your body to open up and break down those immune systems and kind of let all that stuff come in and we don't want that we want to be the best we want to be our ideal selves so meditate relax let go of the stress focus on you positive things about you and let go of that damn negativity because that damn negativity is what's going to make you feel stuck and you deserve more because you are number one so guys have a great day i love you guys i hope to see you soon and i'll be here at the same time tomorrow and we'll be talking about some other stuff and if you guys want me want my free journal. I have a journal that I've created to help people get their self started on their journey. So if you want to DM me or message me, message and I'll send you I'll give me your email address and I will send you over that journal. I'll, you can download it on your computer and you can start using that journal as your beginning steps to live in a better life, 
letting go of the negativity, freeing yourself from it, focusing on the positive, improving your self-esteem, and focusing on now how you are going to make yourself the ideal person because you are number one and you can become anything you put your mind to. So have a great day, guys. I love you.